trying to find it and I finally did I'm so excited to see the boulder there it is oh my god oh, oh Jesus Christ that's so beautiful Send it. Yeah. Shit. Oh, that move. Oh, come in. What? So strong. Come in. Flash up. Come in. Oh. Drop flash. Go. What? Oh. I mean, it's, a, it's an okay crimp if you get to it, but moving towards it is like freakishly hard. Yum! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a little bit too excited when I did it. All right, hi folks, I'm back. Um, and today we're gonna be climbing on my, my project that you might've seen on my channel, uh, the Big Island Replica. Yeah, and I thought you had pretty much done all the moves except one, but... Actually, no, there are three moves in total that I haven't done. First one is going up to the sloper to the right. I did do it, but from a right foot and not from a heel hook. Um, oh yeah, that's right. You are right about that, I forgot that. Mm. Anyways, second move is going up to the crimp. Uh, that I'm not, I wasn't even close to doing it. I actually just did it from like a cheating jug and I didn't even stick it. <laughs> And then finally, it's the move out to the left, the final dyno, that should go relatively easy, but I was just kind of wrecked during the setting process. Let's do it. Okay. I'll try it from the start with that beta. All right. That's, uh, I think that's the closest I've been to doing the move up to the sloper. And that kind of looks similar to your out, outside go as well, right? It is similar. It's just that I'm a little bit... Okay, so on the big island, when I do the move up to the right hand sloper, mm. I, uh, the heel is so much better than this one. Okay. Which means that you can pull a little bit with it. Yeah. But if I do this version, I still have the left foot on the same holds as I do on the original replica version. Okay. So it kind of evens out. It's, it's quite similar regardless. close to sticking. I forgot my uh, my new Helix shoes, uh, the Futuras, I'm really stoked on using. So it's kind of hard to get the heel to stick as I wanted to, mm. but it's it's closing in, it's closing in. That's close. Okay, I need to apply a little bit more pressure on the heel and get the right foot in the crack, yeah. the yellow crack, which I think yeah, I think that should work. I'll try it one more time right away when I yeah. have the move in me. Sweet, that's the first time. Oh, it felt really, really hard, but still, it did go. And then it's the bump out to the right, which I've done, mm -hmm. and then the dyno. Okay, so for today, I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's gonna go. But what I wanna do is I wanna give 100% effort, and I mean 100%, at doing the move out to the, to the left, the compression move that I still haven't done. Mm. Which means that I'll have to force so much through my core in order to stick with the right foot. Yeah. Um, what I wanna do after that is give 100% effort on the start yeah. and try to get as far as I possibly can. Yeah. What was that? Was that just trying to establish in the position? Yeah. Ah, okay. But it's literally because as soon as I have the right foot there on the on the very small foothold, 
that's when I start to jump. I have to get the left foot swinging out, and then I can actually moon kick my way into the left handle. But right now, the hardest part is actually just stepping out. Because since it's such an, uh, just such steep terrain that you're climbing on, you kind of have to get as much as your body weight out as possible before you go to the actual hold. Um, so yeah, I'll try it again. Let's see if I can get it done. Okay. 100%. to tell you it's um, I feel that I right like right now I'm trying very very hard but I just there's something wrong I think just my elbows are a little bit too high up it's just like everything is just a little bit off yeah and I think if I give it a hundred percent effort and hit everything right it should go <laughs> closer quite a bit closer. I've never gotten to the point where the left foot is just straight out as it was right now before falling up before that. So it could go but it's still far away. <laughs> I'll try it one more time and then I'll do the try to just get as much as possible done from the start instead. All right I'll try to tense everything as hard as I possibly can and uh, okay. my fingers. So close. So close. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I know, but it's funny because I actually did something differently there. Um, I failed at doing 100%. Actually, I was doing 100% with my arm, but not with the lower body. That's because this, when I when I grab the holds, something hit me that is like I have to sink down so much more. So I was tensing my arm so I could sink down, put the right foot up, but then I forgot to tense my core. But if I can get those two connections together. I can definitely do the step out, and if I can do the step out, I think I can do the move. Uh, so yeah, that's good. <laughs> It looked like a bit of a hesitation just when you were yep. about to jump. Yep, I, I started hesitating. I felt super solid and I was like, huh, maybe I should do something with the right foot, which I shouldn't. I should just jump for it. So I started tweaking it a little, little bit just to try and get more tension, which kind of failed on me. So instead I slipped off the right foot, but that was really good. I'll try that move one more time and just 100% effort, just sink down and do it. Slipping off the left hand immediately. Ooh. Hey. You getting tired? Something is off. I just uh, can't really find it right now. Um, I'm gonna do a massive effort from the start, just to get a little bit more volume in right now as well. Yeah. So I don't just tire my fingers out on that specific move. Okay. Jesus Christ, that feels so good though. If I just give myself one more second to figure out the, the left heel, mm. I think the move should have gone. Feeling feeling fit and feeling strong, yeah. so let's go. Yeah man, keep keep that back tight as you've done before. Yeah. That's the secret. Yeah, Eric, just, yeah, I will. <laughs> Yeah, man. 
There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, good there. It looked like you're really thinking about the back. Maybe I was, I'm. Yeah, no, no, I was. I was, especially on, because I can keep it quite tight on the first couple of moves. Yeah. Once they get extended, I think I'm quite not so used to being that extended nowadays because the season's been pretty shitty outdoors. Yeah. And you don't really find so many boulders like that indoors, at least here, with the wide compression for me, just because yeah. I'm quite tall. Um, so yeah. I, did, I could definitely feel myself engaging it again. It was close. It felt really, really close. So I'll try it. I'll try it one last time, but then I think I'll be done, to be honest. Yeah. Nice, Emil. I'm a Come here now. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so annoying because I have to either decide on just going for it or trying to get the right foot in a good position. Yeah. So I could either just pull up the left heel, pull up the left heel, or get the right foot up and try to get some tension off of that. I just flopped it out. But I think, honestly, I have to drop it for today, otherwise I'll just be uh, pushing myself a little bit too much. I want to try this one on every session that I'm here mm. when I'm fresh, so that I can always imagine myself doing it, getting closer and closer, not getting further and further away. Yeah. I think that's a kind of a important neurological connection to get. Yeah. I want to show you guys something uh, that I set for Eric, actually. It's, uh, it's kind of like his perfect style, but I set it for him to get back into shape. So I want him to be able to climb it, and then I want him to be able to repeat it. Uh, he hasn't yet tested it, because he hasn't been here in a while, but my idea is that I'm gonna take him here and shoot a video with him here. Uh, so, yeah, keep an eye out for that on my channel. And, uh, it's gonna be a good one, because I'm gonna force Eric to pull really freaking hard. So it's gonna be Eric Carlson bouldering. Yeah, it's been like, uh, it was in March last time yep. I climbed this wall, and I was like, that, I'm not, you, I've made no progress. I've gone down as usual. Yeah, you've gone down quite a bit. This one is actually 7A. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's quite a bit easier than the 7C I set for you last time. Yeah. But I love I my life. A, I think, but I honestly think it's a really good training boulder for you because it's just like pulling on pretty good crimps, but throughout a roof. Yeah. So yeah, let's check the boulder out and then stay tuned for when it's actually going to drop. Yeah. Video with him. I won't make that look that pretty. It's gonna be a good episode. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a good one, because I think you'll struggle on it a little bit, but I'm pretty sure you could do all the moves. Okay. And uh, I think you'll have a shot at doing it. So anyways, stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Eric's channel, um, or subscribe to this channel, and then drop me a comment if you have any questions. Yeah. Peace out, folks.